Hi there, I told you I'd be back. I pushed a little bit of that crud off. I didn't show you me hooking these up, but I got the one chain there, the one chain there, that'll pull hopefully these two out. Then I just noticed I got a long one down there that I might be able to pull out. Um, so I'm kind of thinking about that. I really didn't want to get the chainsaw out today, but I might need to cut some of that. But if I come in with the dozer and lift this up here, then I might have a little more control to be able to cut something. I have no idea. As long as you guys know the number to 911, I'll be all right. I forget that number all the time. I can't find the 11 on the phone to call every time I hurt myself. Anyhow, let me see if I get these out. This time you're gonna go for a ride on the machine. And hopefully it'll be a fun ride. I gotta get pivot around that daggone stump there. That was a beautiful oak tree. Cut that down and that was number 24 in year 20. That was before I was really doing a whole lot on YouTube. Let's see what we can do here. Get a little tension on the chains. And here's where we're going for. We gotta go high on the track on, on this side and low on this one, and we gotta go in reverse. See, we're coming up. Hopefully, got the pull. There it comes. Uh-oh, my muffler came off. Too much of an angle. Those things got more pull than you can imagine. Holy crap. I'm pulling against that tree is what the problem is. good. Those are light enough I can roll. Look at that. I wonder how hot this thing is. Ouch. Hotter than I can handle. Oh man, I bet my rain cap right there. Ouch. I don't think that thing's had a muffler clamp on it since I had it. Uh, I gotta get out of this machine. That ain't easy. It's also got a hole in the exhaust manifold. See it right there? That might be some of the noise. Look at that old beast. She's just hanging right in there, isn't she? All right. We can unhook this. But it probably won't come out from underneath that. Yeah, it did. That's one nice thing about this bucket. You can just hang, hang all sorts of stuff up here, especially if you had two hands. That's what I was saying. It takes a long time doing it with the camera. But, I don't know if that one will come out. Maybe not. Nope, that one ain't coming out. Briar patch, big briar right there. This will bring it out. Of course, it might roll it this way too. These, you can see the size, they, they, aren't, they aren't little. They're not gigantic. They're firewood though. All right, take this hook here. Let's go assess, assess the next victim. I don't really like this on that hill, but 
Might have to get that one other. That's one thing, the bobcat doesn't tear up the ground at all. But you can't do this with a bobcat, it's just too dangerous. I think this next one, I come up and straighten this up with a bobcat in the bucket a little bit. Uh, that moved a lot of dirt there, didn't it? Logging just tears up the tears up the ground something fierce. I think this one here, this one here, I'm gonna sneak in, sneak in down here and hook it that way and take it on down, and then I think we'll I should cut that hickory right now while it's got under tension. I can cut it from the other side. That might actually be holding that up. You'd be surprised how strong that hickory is. So maybe we'll go get the chainsaw and come up and touch and poke and touch and poke. Um, like I said, a hickory sent me to the hospital. That was not a fun, a fun thing. This is back in 80, oh my goodness. I don't know, 80, maybe 81. No, 82. It was right after I got the machine. I was clearing stuff out. And there was a big tree somewhere up in here. And I hooked onto it and dropped it. was a 24-inch oak and I dropped it. And I was pulling it up and it hung up a hickory. And I knew the hickory had tension in there and I was I was being as careful as you could be, but not quite careful enough. And uh it snapped me and threw me about 10 feet with a running chainsaw and knocked me out and it was fun stuff and then I was stuck in the woods and I thought it knocked my kneecap off but it didn't knock my it took out my ACL and ACL and MCL in my knee and I stuck up here in the woods I know, I know it's up in there someplace and so I sat there for I don't know 20 minutes laying there trying to figure out what was wrong with my knee and uh, then I had to get from here up to the house. So I waited and climbed up on the dozer and drove right up to the front door. And there I was, off to the hospital. Anyhow, let's, I'm hoping we can get this. Ah, maybe that's cooled down enough. Yeah, it ain't bad. Look at that. We repaired it. Good as new. All right, I'm gonna try to sneak down this hill. I do not like going down hills backwards. That scares the crap out of me, but she seems to be running pretty good. So we'll put it in low range and start the descent. I got the bucket so I can drop it and drag it if something gets too goofy. Taking it easy. Ain't no high speed guy here. I think it's the easiest way to get that. I gotta come get this wood. I need some wood for my boiler. I got a little bit cut up everywhere. Here we go. Good, you see me taking off? I had it neutral for a second. Doesn't want to turn in there, I can guarantee you that. Now I gotta back up a little bit. Alright, we'll leave it in gear right there. And if it doesn't pop into neutral, we'll be fine. Of course, I've been known to... Okay. You really can't tell that I'm on a heck of a hill here. All these briars, man. I'll tell you what, I hate the briars. Oh, there's my yardstick. That'll measure something good. Maybe I can do this one-handed, you think? Guess not. There, we got it. This has got to go 
that way. Can't do this this as easy with one hand. You YouTubers know that. All right, we got that. Don't want to hurt my yardstick. This this thing here without bark is. Oh, we got nine nine inches. That's perfect firewood. Throw that over there. I'll retrieve that later. We're gonna probably take this one all the way down to where we're gonna stop the stop the machine, put it back in its parking place. Ugh. Kinda hard getting in here. Here we go. We'll lift it up, get a little bit of tension on it. Now if I pull it a little bit that way first, it should, uh, of course I didn't, I went the wrong way. That should get it off that tree up there. Now we're going to come this way. And it's coming. Here we go. days I'll remember how to drive this thing. Try to keep it from hitting that tree. Then I'll try to keep it from hitting this stuff. Still hit it, but not too bad, I don't think. Ah, just barely. We'll take it easy. It'll be all right. All right, we got her now. drop this thing off here and go back up and see how much tension's on that log. On that big log. We're only 13 minutes into this guys. I wish I had a chainsaw with me, but I don't. Hanging there, I can pick that up quick with a tractor and drag it down there. It's not in the way of the road. We're gonna go up and see what kind of pressure that log up there's got on it. Even on hooking chains with one hand's a pain. Look at this nice hookup place. All right, let's go up and see what that log's got in it. I'm gonna back up that back up that place though. I just don't like I don't like going forward.
there. It's kind of tight in here. I think there's a whole lot of weight on that thing. Let me uh, jump off of here. <sighs> I'm going to get the uh, tripod here because I need two hands. There's not too much weight on that. That hickory doesn't have too much tension on it either. See, it didn't come back up. Let me see what I can do here. Ah, oh, this camera's gonna fall over. If you fall over, I'll come pick you up in a minute. I think I'm gonna go back and get a chainsaw and whittle on that thing a little bit and see what we got. She's up off the ground, so by the time I get there, it, be, it might be light enough that I can keep going up there. That hickory doesn't have too bad attention on it. So uh, I'm gonna take the dozer back and park it and then come up here with a bobcat and you guys with a camera. So if you want to see what's coming on next, I guess this is like a mini series, like the one guy was telling me they got a mini series going on. So I'm gonna go get the uh, chainsaw and come up here and gnarl on that thing a little bit, see what it's got. So over and out, hit the like button, subscribe, and come back and see the next next chapter in the uh, mini series. Over and out.